With a number of players under an injury cloud, Australia coach Pim Verbeek opted to select a preliminary World Cup squad of 31. That's 30 plus an extra goalkeeper in Eugene Galekovic. It may have taken some time for the Socceroos coach to appear on stage, but it didn't take long to reveal his first surprise. And that's uh, Michael Beecham. Fans of former A-League Player of the Year Nick Carl breathed a sigh of relief. Nick Carl. The bake attempted to alleviate fears over list. Harry Kuehl's fitness. Of course there are rumours, of course there are opinions, but Harry will be ready. Medical staff, everybody, Harry himself convinced me that he will be OK. And um, we still have five weeks to prepare him for the first game against Germany. Despite his youth and inexperience at the highest level, Tommy Orr had done enough to impress Verbeek. And uh, I think it's great for Australian football that we have a player like him, just 18 years old, who made an, uh, a big impression in the few weeks he was in the Netherlands. Uh, he signed a contract there to play for a very interesting club and I'm sure Tommy can uh, be a great player in the future. With defenders Shane Lowry, Reese Williams and Jade North all included, there was no room for Simon Colosimo, Eddie Bosnar and Sasha Ogunovsky. And just like 2006, there are others who won't be there through misfortune rather than form. Uh, I'd like to start with uh, Shane Stefanuto, who got a very bad injury. He was on my list before but couldn't do it. Matthew Kemp, who had a bad injury, of course. Archie Thompson. Uh, all long-term, long injuries, so it's very bad for them that they couldn't make, at least give them a chance to be part of the selection. And also, last but not least, uh, Paddy Kish Norbo, who got a terrible injury uh, a few months ago. Uh, for them, it's all uh, it's very difficult because where the biggest tournament of the world is coming up, you want to show yourself. And they didn't get the opportunity to do that.